Did you know that you can use Photoroom's award-winning image editing technology via an API to edit millions of images at once? Yes, millions. Photoroom is one of the most downloaded AI apps in the world with over 300 million downloads. But most people don't know that you can connect Photoroom's AI image editing technology into your internal product image editing processes like Walt and DoorDash, or even directly into your product, just like Rappi, Deliveroo, and Macari. Between them, they're editing over 8 million images a week. I know, it's a lot. I'm Alex, a product growth manager at Photoroom, and I'm gonna tell you all about Photoroom's API and why it could be your next great tech investment. Okay, but first, what is an API? If you already know what an API is, you can skip to chapter two. Otherwise, let me explain. I like to see things in order to understand them, so I've drawn you a little graphic to help. Look at this graph. You see, Photoroom folk have been busy building two core elements of the Photoroom experience for the past five years. A powerful AI power backend, i.e. the code you don't really see, the stuff that works in the background, and a seamlessly designed front end, i.e. the flows and buttons you interact with, in our apps. Notice I said apps, plural, because Photoroom has an iOS app, an Android app, and a web app. This is important to know because it also helps you understand the whole front end versus back end. As you can see, the Photoroom apps are very similar and are essentially built on top of the same back end, but they are three completely different apps built on top of one back end. Think of it like a restaurant. The back end is the kitchen. You don't see how the chefs make the amazing food. Then the actual restaurant, the servers, the tables, decor, music, etc., is the front end, the, the thing you experience. So an API is a way to interact with the foundation, the back end. It allows people to utilize the complicated foundation that powers photo room, but build their own type of interaction. If we go back to our restaurant analogy, franchises like McDonald's and KFC have essentially built a really scalable back end a foundation which restaurant owners can utilize to open an individual restaurant. Each and every McDonald's is unique. In fact, there's this amazing article with the most unique McDonald's in the world. Thank me later. But the underlying foundation or back end is the same. Let me show you an example with Photoroom. A few of the world's largest marketplaces use Photoroom, but they all use it in their own way. They have all created their own front end to interact with our API. However, it's hard for me to show that to other marketplaces so they can see how powerful it can be to build something on top of Photoroom. So, with my limited developer expertise, I build a lovable app on top of the Photoroom API. This app is fairly simple and I only have a few possible interactions. I can input my email, my company name, I can choose a workflow, which is essentially a templated series of commands that I'm giving to the API. Do this, then do that, then do that, then send back the edited image. But Alex, why can't I do this in the Photoroom app? Well, we have batch mode, which works really well with hundreds or even thousands of images. But since the app needs to accommodate millions of users, it needs to be able to do all the possible clicks, all the possible combinations of clicks all the time. For example, let's say an app can do 10 different things. Those 10 different things can be combined in a lot of different ways. In fact, 10 variables have 1,024 possible combinations. This is also why you can't break into a safe very easily. When you build your own interactions on top of the back end, you can choose any combination and in doing so, you also choose the interactions you don't want, which dramatically reduces the complexity of the front end required. Then you can ask that to be repeated over and over again, thousands or millions of times. Ultimate freedom plus ultimate scalability. How do companies use Photoroom's API to edit millions of images? Photoroom can be used by a company in two ways. You can either integrate it into your internal image editing process, or you can build it into your product so users can edit product images themselves or can do a combination of both. But one key factor needs to be understood here. Better images sell more products. It doesn't matter what industry or vertical, better images sell better. We browse so many listings when we shop online that the quality, clarity, and reliability help us buy one product over another and buy them quicker. Now we'll go into more detail about implementing Photoroom into your internal image editing process. Imagine huge marketplaces like Depop or Valuance. Imagine they try to help their sellers improve their conversion rate by giving images a quick makeover before they're listed for buyers to browse. So before sellers can post their listings, they send them into Depop or Valuance and they perform a simple image edit before they're listed. First, remove the background because the seller took it on their bed, 
not super professional. Second, center the image because it looks strange when you're browsing hundreds of square centered images for one or two to be in the, the corner or to the left. Third, put the image on a clean white background so the cognitive load on the shopper is reduced for easier decision making. Fourth, add a shadow so the image doesn't look strange floating on a white background. Notice here, none of these AI powered edits actually change the product you're buying. They just improve the way it's presented to you. Picture getting the same food on a very clean shovel. Bruh. I, I know, stick with me here. Or getting it on a plate. Same food, same chef, different presentation. Because presentation matters. I don't want my food on a shovel, thank you very much. Now, imagine one of these companies needing to edit millions of images for thousands of sellers. What are they gonna do? Edit them all manually in Photoshop? Nope impossible and it wouldn't be worth it. So they need well-presented products, but they can't edit them manually. So they create a digital process to do it for them. That's where Photo Room comes in. It can be a very sophisticated process where the Photo Room API slots in, but it can also be as simple as drop 100,000 images into a Google Drive folder named before Photo Room. That could then trigger a connection with the Photo Room API, API contact initiated. Whatever combination of requests will then begin to play out like steps in a factory. Remove background, center image, add clean white background, add a shadow, then drop 100,000 edited images into a Google Drive folder named after photo room. This means the internal process of editing product images goes from lots of humans sitting editing images to one human dropping files in a folder and waiting for the magic to happen. Now I'll explain how photo room tech is integrated directly into other platforms so users can interact with it directly. While some companies require sellers to send in their photos to be edited, other companies like Macari and Rappi empower their sellers to edit images using photo room technology directly in their platform. Picture a new seller on Macari. They're going through the onboarding, uploading images, writing descriptions, setting the price. Then all of a sudden they enter a step do you want to edit your product images to give it a better chance of selling? Those companies have built their own series of interactions that will fit seamlessly with their front end. This is essentially like plugging in Photo Room's back end into their front end and defining what each click can request from Photo Room's API. You can picture the seller having four buttons drawing onboarding to edit their image. Remove background, center image, add background, and add shadow. As a seller clicks each button, it sends a request to Photo Room and Photo Room returns an image with the correct edit. Thousands of sellers all over the world editing millions of images all at the same time. It almost sounds like magic. What kind of image editing can you do with Photo Room's API? I've already mentioned a few things you can do with the Photo Room API. There are too many to list here, but at the time of recording, you can communicate about 50 different parameters to Photo Room and you can combine those parameters in various different ways. Going back to the example from earlier, 50 variables have a lot of combinations. That's a lot. <laughs> this is what I mean about having ultimate flexibility. And once you've chosen your combinations, you can template them into API calls and scale them out to your different images. Why is it better to use Photo Room's powerful backend instead of building your own backend? A common question people ask me is whether they should build their own backend. Because theoretically, if photo rooms, engineers and product managers and designers can build it, then they can too, right? This is the age old software question of build versus buy. Now, I will say that in the age of AI, building technology has become a lot easier, but that also means the quality and speed of software companies is also improving. Here are my four reasons why I think you should buy photo room tech and integrate it into your tech stack. Number one, speed. If there's one variable that AI has changed in the world of business, it's speed. Everything is changing and growing so damn quickly. This makes it paramount to keep pace. My question then is, how quickly do you think you can build something as good as photo room tech validate it and launch it. Probably not as quickly as you can connect to our ready-made API, ship fast, ship fast. Number two, quality. Let's say you can build it quickly. Will it be as good? Photo Room is solely focused on building best-in-class image editing software for the last five years. Not only that, but it also has millions of daily active users testing new features and functionality, sharpening those features before being added into the API. Can you build something as good in a few weeks as Photo Room have done in five years and test it with millions of users? Three, robustness. Okay, you've built something good and you've built it quickly. How robust is it? Did you build it to be scalable? Is it built to handle millions and millions of images? Did you build in complex quota and pacing so it doesn't get overloaded? 
it? Can it survive big influxes around Christmas time when sellers are flooding it with images? Photo Room has spent years building a robust backend. It then put a team of some of the world's best API engineers on the task of creating a stable API endpoint so that technology just works. Four, maintenance. Okay, you've built something good, you've built it quickly, and it's even robust. You ship it and it's live. It's got connection to various APIs, it's built on various AI models, models and APIs that you understand enough to build. But do you live and breathe image editing technology? Are you up to date with the speed of change in the AI world? So then I ask, do you want to add yet more technology that you need to maintain, especially in such a fast paced industry where the reality is that you need to constantly update? Listen, I agree that sometimes it's better to build, but honestly, sometimes it's better to just buy. Buy the best in class technology, let them live and breathe it, let them test and iterate to sharpen that technology. Focus on your internal tech stack. Focus on a tech stack that you can easily integrate with other software so you can supercharge it with external software providers. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe or visit us on our website at photoroom.com forward slash API.